Good evening with the news. I'm Kurt Campbell. Thanks for joining us. First up, the Ghana government says it stands ready to assist its Karkam sister state, Haiti, following the devastation caused by Hurricane Matthew. Guyana's government is ready to offer assistance to hurricane ravaged Haiti, which suffered destruction and the loss of hundreds of lives. Hurricane Matthew swept through Haiti, Jamaica, the Dominican Republic, and the Bahamas, and is currently heading through the coast of Florida. The Category 4 hurricane, traveling at 235 kilometers per hour winds, destroyed the roofs of some buildings, trees, and caused major flooding across the islands. Guyana's Minister of State, Joseph Harmon, said the government is awaiting the assessment from the aftermath of the hurricane. Um, Jamaica was, of course, preparing for um, a heavy dose of it, but it seems as if the, the, the patterns had actually changed and therefore they were saved um, serious um, damage. But certainly, um, at least one of our, of our uh, CARICOM uh, member states had been damaged, had been is, uh, issues there, and we are monitoring the situation here very closely. Should the same CDEMA network that I just reported on, and Guyana will make its contribution to the effort at um, rebuilding once the damage has been properly assessed. It is regarded as one of the world's poorest countries and has never fully recovered from the 2010 earthquake that killed thousands of people. More news after the break. Extra beer is the beer to drink. Grab one no no. Grab one no. Drink extra beer and come to your senses. Enjoy a great extra Pilsner beer, now available in regular and light. Taste real smooth with no hangover. It's the perfect beer, according to Drinker's Review. Me drink beer in a real life. Distributed by the wholesale distributors in the stockbroke market. Telephone 683-9500. Extra beer is also found in supermarkets and stores nationwide. It's the perfect beer. Hey, looky there. Let me go to the techie boots. Boots? No, my mama. I ain't gonna get a lack of teeth in them big stinky 30 second hand boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And then got my favorite color, pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Welcome back. GWI CEO has fired back at persons who are questioning his management style and says he will not be distracted by resistance. Details in this report. Facing criticisms over his management style and rapport with staff of the Ghana Water Inc., Chief Executive Officer Dr. Richard Van Wells Charles made it clear that he will not be distracted from executing his mandate at the water company. GWI's board recently launched an investigation into a series of complaints made by employees, including senior staff, against the CEO. However, he maintains that his focus is on transforming the quality of service being offered by the state-owned company. I nor our managers are going to be distracted by any um, voices in the press. Well, obviously, I come with a, a, an experience of having worked uh, nationally and internationally. Um, change always brings uh, some storming and forming. It takes, it takes time. One would expect rumbling. It's not everybody is going to hold on to the trapeze and go with the change right away. But these are processes that we have to work through. Um, but the change is not in the interest of us, the management or the board, but in the interest of the service we provide to the population. Among the complaints is that he breached the company's human resources policy and appropriated the powers of the board by hiring his friends and associates under consultancies at GWI, and those persons are being paid super salaries. However, Dr. Charles stressed that a number of changes will soon take place to the benefit of their customers. I sell swaggerific, Spaniard me like staggerific. I Spaniard, when the star give me a hand on the whole place. Turn up, 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 I don't business if you're not on time. You must always have stag in the line. Well, everybody have a stag in the hand. Where's my Stagaman's beer? <laughs> 
In four delectable flavors, the new Super Premium Royal Ripple Ice Cream is smooth, unbelievably rich and far more affordable than you think. Royal Ripple Super Premium from Sterling Products Limited. Extra energy, drink a number one. Multiply your energy to the drink one. Extra energy, drink, extra energy, drink. Extra energy has a better taste, less caffeine, less sugar, and is enriched with vitamins B6 and B12. Extra energy, drink me wanting. Give me the energy night I'm running. Extra energy, drink. Extra energy, drink. Visit the wholesale distributor in the Stabbrook Market or call 683 9500 to order yours today. Extra Energy Drink is also found in supermarkets and stores nationwide. Lastly, the Ghana government has received help from the United States government to assist in transparency and accountability in the extractive sector. Guyanese will benefit from a significant grant that was today announced by the United States Ambassador to Guyana, Perry Holloway. The grant will help advance accountability and transparency in the extractive industries. The United States will provide the Carter Center with over $290,000 U.S. to facilitate a series of programs within the Ministry of Natural Resources that will help Guyana to comply and develop an acceptable candidacy submission at the EITI. The Carter Center will implement the project which will run over a 12-month period to lay the groundwork and develop candidacy documents required by the EITI Secretariat. Ambassador Holloway spoke more about how the grant will benefit Guyanese. But the grant from the U.S. Embassy is for a 12-month program on advancing transparency and accountability in Guyana's extractive industries. The scope of the grant is expected to assist the government of Guyana through the Ministry of Natural Resources to develop the candidacy documents required by the EITI Secretariat. I am confident this program will strengthen the work of the government of Guyana in promoting transparency in the country's extractive industry. National Resources Minister Raphael Trotman in welcoming the grant spoke of the many benefits it will bring. Guyana's economy is heavily based on extractive industries and the country is soon to become an oil producing nation. These resources belong to the people and are non-renewable. Therefore, we will need to ensure that they are managed judiciously. And that's a wrap of the major news headlines for today. Join us again on Monday for another news roundup.